Hey guys, how's it going? Twin Machine has been um, the animator's uh, number one helper for the longest time. From what I remember in my mind, it was the very first script that took off like wildfire for animators and it was one of the few scripts that you could have as an animator way back in the day but it was incredibly useful. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get is how can I actually get that functionality for free uh, as part of Maya? Unfortunately, Maya doesn't really give you that functionality just yet. You do have it on Maya 2023 uh, as a blue pencil uh, when you draw in 2D, but I don't think you actually can actually use it by default in Maya 2022. Thankfully, thanks to Morton, uh, the developer of this plugin, now we can have that functionality and much more. So he developed this plugin called Tweener, which is incredibly useful and actually builds upon that um, basic twin machine capability and then some. Because uh, some of the stuff that you can get right now in plugins like Animbot, um, you can get here, such as Live Preview. Now, I have this rig here um, that is courtesy of Bandai Namco. It's a free rig that you can get. I'll leave a link down below. However, I wouldn't recommend it very much. Um, the rig seems to be broken at places. For example, the head right now doesn't seem to work very well. And the rotations of the body are kind of not so good. And when you move the foot in IK, um, you can rotate it with one controller and translate it with another which basically doubles the work of, every, uh, of everything. Same thing with the hands. You have two controllers, both like, it's very old school, I should say. I think uh, even though it's appealing and looks cool for a game maybe, or something like that, but to animate with is a bit of a, of a problem. But if you want to download it, definitely link down below. Now, in regards to the, to the plugin, really cool plugin. Um, so, as I mentioned before, you have here previews of exactly how much you can actually twin by. Now, I actually just created like a simple kick just to kind of like get that twin to kind of look okay between the two. Now, like, obviously, at the moment, because my Mai is set up um, as uh, auto tangent instead of blocking, it's kind of twinning between the two already, right? But ideally, you don't really want to have it that way whenever you're blocking. You want to make sure that your Maya looks very much like this, which is how you block things. So now when I ever go back to my animation, then I put my animation here and this here, you'll see that there's no animation in between. You just get the final frame and then you get the previous frame. And this is kind of how you block things, mainly because Maya is giving you a lot of stuff for free in the beginning, like destroys the creativity behind it, right? Is the best way I can put it. If you think about it, when you're actually like illustrating in 2D, there was nothing for free. You have to put papers in, in between pages in order to get the next drawing up. And the idea here is the same. So you want to set up whatever comes between those two keys, right? So a tool like this is great because it automatically, it gives you that in between if you want to by default. So if you want like, to be right in the middle and boring, <laughs> um, you can just go ahead and press this key and it gives you like half of what it was there before. So I'm just gonna do it on the foot just to kind of keep it to one controller. But if I click this one, it basically, this is in between between these two keys, right? So that is basically how it works. Now, the beauty of this plugin is that it gives you a live preview, right? So if you actually kind of press this controller here, it will give you like either more or less, right? Closer or not. And notice how things are changing in my graph editor right now as I go through. And just for this controller, I'm just going to go ahead and get this controller to be on auto tangent again, just so you guys can see um, what's happening a little bit better uh, in real life as your graph editor changes, right? Now, once again, if I want to go to the middle, I'll get this. Now, if I actually want to kind of like disable left preview, I can do this uh, right here. So if I actually do that, then you don't see anything happening. So it's very much old school that, but why not have live preview on? You also have the option to get set keys to be different, right? So if you actually kind of like set your keys to have a, diff a different color, then you can see here my key changed to green, which is really nice. And then you have a few other options here that allow you to have in between keys that are a little bit more exotic, shall we say. And the one that I actually liked the most was actually the curve tangent. 
So as you can see, it changes here to actually the middle being nothing and then the edges being uh, like the in-between, the amount that you want in between. So if I actually change this, look what happens. See, like the now like the all the different channels start changing so they can start kind of like favoring one or the other in a curve tangent, right? So normally this gives you like a little bit of, of a better timing um, and settle in between, right? But this is basically something that you're going to have to try on your own as you're trying your animations and seeing what works best, right? But this is basically as simple as it gets when it comes to a plugin, but it's really well executed. It's very clean, very nice. Once again, leave a link down below so you can download it. It's on GitHub, it's for free, but make sure you give a shout out to the developer if you download it and if you use it, because uh, these things take time to build, as I keep saying, and they deserve the props for it, right? But uh, that is basically Twinner. Go and get it if you need any between it for free. Um, I know many of you do because you cannot afford to actually kind of buy certain tools. So Twinner is here for free, good for everybody, good for the community. That's all I had for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you want some more. And until next week, stay well, stay safe. Peace.